And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jade Jewel. And for this episode, we're bringing on some of the new folders that we, Civivi, and QSP have dished out for the fall 2020 season. No yak yak right now, though. Just the knives. We're starting off with the Civivi Mastodon. What? Okay. Are we going to talk about what we like about first? Go ahead. I think this knife is eerily similar to their Bull Mastiff. You know, comparison right there. Although, I have to say, I find myself liking this one a little more. I really like the red one more than any of the Bull Mastiffs, mini or no. What about you? Well, I've seen this style similar before. Yeah, they brought um, it back this year. I like it a lot, and I think if you like it, you should pick it up quick uh, before it's all gone mm. and never comes back. That's probably Giving my guess. Giving hints there. <laughs> I like so, the black one. Mm -hmm. I like the green one. Which one do you like better? Make well, choose. Believe it or not, the black one looks more sleek. The darker ones look more sleek to me than the red one does. I like the red one. I'm not a big fan of red, so, you know, is what it is. I like the deep carry pocket clip. Mm -hmm. I like the size of it, that's for sure. It is nice. Yeah. All right. I feel like they got the real cleaver style going, too, with the little tiny hole at the, the end. The little tiny hole? Yeah. Yeah. That's not completely a circle. No, it's not. It's oval. It is. Oh, it's an oval. <laughs> it's an oval, not a circle. Wait, McDowell's, it has to be an McDonald's, oval. Arch, Arc. Hey, he calls him the golden. Not golden, golden arches. arches, and we're the he, golden, golden arc. dowels. Okay, uh, they're dowels. So they're arcs. McDowell's. McDowell's. McDonald's. Dowels. Arches, Arc. They have the uh, Big Mac with the <laughs> three patties and whatever sesame seeds. We don't have sesame seed. We both got two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions. But they use a sesame seed bun. My buns have no seeds. All right. So you want to do the specs now? Go ahead. Okay. You want to do it? No, go ahead. All right. So this knife is available in four versions, mm -hmm. which are all offered in many size. Mm -hmm. So that makes eight versions? Eight versions. Eight versions. Yeah. Black, green, red, and carbon fiber Damascus combo. Ooh. Okay, so this regular one is nine inches overall with a 3.8 inch 9CR 18OV stone wash blade that has a flat grind is about 16, 0.16 inches thick. Comes in at about 5860 on the HR letter after B scale. Very nice. Yeah. The handle and backspacer are G10. Matching in color, by the way. Yeah. So we have the black one here, the red one, the green one. Red. We always leave one out. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. Blade is deployed through, you guessed it, the jimped flipper. Wait. There we go. There you go. This liner lock also features a lanyard hole, gray stainless liners, mm. bronze washers. Yep, somewhere. I can't show you. And the reversible tip-up pocket clip. So, what do you think? Comes with a case mm -hmm. and also the cleaning cloth. The infamous cleaning cloth. Which I like, of course. That's your favorite. I, I like that it comes with the extra stuff. I said that before. And you get all for only fifty-four fifty-five at. There it is. I was on the ball today. You didn't say AtlanticKnife.com. There you go. Flash it first. Aw. Yeah, you flash it. It's you usually... show it to them. Take off the surprise. Say it slow, remember? AtlanticKnife.com. The key. next blade is the We Gava. Gava. Reminds me of uh, sound of music, Hava. Is that right? I don't know. I can't remember. Available in two different styles black stone wash and regular stone wash. So we have the regular stone wash one here. This frame lock is 7.68 inches overall with a 3.2. Oh, did you hear the leather noise? I hear it. Okay. 3.25 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade with a flat grind. Gray stone wash finish on the blade as well. Comes in about 5961 on the HRC scale. And operates on caged ceramic ball bearings. Blade is open via the jimped flipper. There so. it is again, the jimped flipper. The handle on this bad boy is made of 6AL4B titanium starting to think there's no other type of titanium along with the backspacer screws tip up pocket clip it was designed 
by Raphael Brzezinski. Your guess is good as you know mine. What? That sounds good. Somebody would probably be like, it's pronounced Charles. <laughs> Finally, like the Civivi, <laughs> it comes with a zippered case. And here it is again, the cleaning cloth. Yep. It is just 235.75 on wow, AtlanticKnife.com. So, the Wegava. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think. It's all right. I mean, it's got superior materials, like always, with the, the high end Wee. So, the titanium is nice, and the, what was it, CPM 20? CV blade. Mm. I mean, that's all all good. I like all that. It's just you know, a little plain for me. I mean, I used it so it cut it cuts well. It's a knife, so you kind of want it to so cut well. So the gentleman out there would like this plain knife. I sure. think it's a good size. But it doesn't it doesn't as C would say blow my skirt up. It's just can't. Wow, really? It's a five dollar milkshake. That's a pretty good milkshake. <laughs> wow. Okay. How about you? Well, I'm kind of in the same ballpark. I do like it better than some of the others because I like the open chassis look. Mm -hmm. See through. Um, other than that, I do like the stylishness of it. Okay. Um, well, Stylish around the pivot, they put a nice little design there for an old, uh, for a person who's more mature. They may look and see an emblem to an old car, or yeah, maybe somebody that's more mechanical. Just say older. Yeah. So. Well, you know, you don't. We don't want to insult say, people. I was so. talking specifically yeah. about you. Oh me! I don't recognize this. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. A bit, a bit. Okay. Oh goodness. So, is that all I like you have the to say about? Better. Oh, you like that? So do I. Mm -hmm. So our last knives will be the Wee Minax, which is this one, and the QSP Parrots. But first, we'd like to ask you to blow up those like, share, subscribe, and comment buttons. Like the Unabomber. Plus, not exactly ring. like the Unabomber. <laughs> I don't think he ever blew anything up. He's got caught attempting it. Plus, ring that bell. Also, you can stay within the family. Atlantic Knife provides you with the latest knife and outdoor gear content. You also get entered in our giveaways. So it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Should we, we might have to do a print of retraction. Why? From last week, we, we mixed them up. Do you wanna? Did we mix them up on the table or afterwards in the editing? During. We mix them up both times. Did we really? Yeah. It's all right. So the we'll winner of the SE was Bill Craft, and Jack Toon won the Kabar on YouTube. Oh, we'll fix it. Don't worry. So. If anybody has a problem, we'll always fix it. You know how that works. Retraction there. Okay, so this week on you YouTube. You want to be fair, like a uh, you know Washington Post if or you, something. Oh, we forgot to mention if you won, just email sales at Atlantic Knife. He did. Oh, okay, good. With Great. some questions. I bet. I yeah. bet. <laughs> I'm wondering what he was I'm talking sorry. about. I'm sorry. No, I know. I'm sorry. Right. On, on all He's counts. Telling. And I actually okay. watched this show. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Go ahead. And we're giving away on YouTube one of our last Best Tech Texels. On what? YouTube. YouTube? Yes. Do we need to pop up a YouTube sign? YouTube. Yes. It's right. But Everybody if, makes if we mistakes. say it wrong in the script, then it's going to get popped up as we say it. Oh, I got it. And. We just wrote the names wrong. On AtlanticKnife.com blog we're giving away the i'm not touching it fox <laughs> fox karambit oh, oh it's a sister did you fall for that again yes <laughs> i did um the one that c almost impaled himself with guys so just answer Some the people AK are wondering was that intentional trivia question and you've you and you're entered yeah it's just a few clicks away mm -hmm. all right nice oh and look i handled it without throwing it in the air <laughs> at least How you're not that windy that's great <laughs> <sighs> she's gonna hate you for that all right let's move on to opening our next knife this sounds good to me the wee meanax i am much more into this one it's got kind of a like a man's man kind of feel kind of look all right let's let's let me get this straight oh no what you're saying is that you can go hunting with this man's man's knife you're gonna shoot a deer? I'm a man's man. I could go deer hunting. I'm a man's, man's man. man. I can go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not gonna be able to go gutting a deer with it, okay? But it will take care of like any day to day cutting tasks, which men seem to run into more often, so perfect knife fit for that. Yeah, I bet you could go deer with it, but it would be a pain to clean up. Mm. 
but it does have a uh, what do you call it like a on the job feel mm -hmm. I can see like a construction worker kind of using this you know to score some drywall or cut some rigid foam insulation press it or like an attrition, electrician's pulling him out of his worn jeans to splice some wire or trim a buzzard tongue. Oh my goodness. What the heck's a buzzard tongue? It's a zip tie. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You don't even know the zip lingo tie. You know of what our that clientele. Is, don't you? <laughs> That's modern duct tape right there, buddy. Look, you can fix anything with duct tape, WD-40. Those are the basic know. tools. Zip tie. Hey, if Clint Eastwood says you can do it, you can do it. A zip tie can get you back on the road or tie somebody up. I mean... Forgive yeah. his non-youthful ignorance. <laughs> he was clooned as a child with a New York screwdriver and he just <laughs> never really recovered, so... A New York screwdriver? A very large yeah, hammer. You know, because they're <laughs> impatient, so... Just a big hammer instead of screwing it in. Okay, so this frame lock comes in three different versions. There's a black bronze, which is the one we have here with us, a blackout, and a stone wash. It is 7.94 inch overall, mm -hmm. while the CPM 20 CV gray stonewashed blade with jimping, jimping and yes. a flat grind is 3.44 inch yeah. and comes in at about 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. It's deployed, deployed through the, you guessed it, jimped back flipper and it operates on, you know, I always wondered, mm -hmm. can you uncage your ball bearings? I don't think we so. We always say caged ball bearings. Yeah. Caged ball bearings. Of course they are. Yep. All right. But maybe if you had like a really open design, you could like see them maybe. Or see through. Uh, yeah. Like you would on a, uh, a ring or a seal like you, like a car you put in the brakes. Yeah. Or put in a, um, but then they'd still have to be caged. You just see them. They got to be caged because they exactly. got to stay in place. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. The handle, screws, pivot cap, backspacer, and tip up right carry pocket clip are all made of 6AL4V titanium with antique bronze wash finish. Mm. Comes with a zippered case. There it is. Yep. And the cleaning cloth. Don't forget the cleaning cloth. Right there, guys. I'll just show you as proof, okay? And was designed by, you'll never guess. Oh, I'll never guess? No. It's Ferrum Forge Knife Works. I would have guessed. No, you wouldn't. You already knew. Because you knew. That's, That's it. That's not guessing. It's biased. All right, so where are you at on this one? They're, I'm at... They're biased. I'm sorry, I was Mrs. Doubtfire. That's all right. Huh? Nice choil. I like this. Nice choil. I do. I, I like a Who? usable choil. Oh, my gosh. You'd be surprised how Some many times you that... have the knife like this. I understand that, but who goes, that's a nice choil. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should be saying about something else and that. And you I, know, <laughs> she got a nice choil. Exactly. I don't think that works. <laughs> I, I will try that later. I'll, I'll ask my wife don't, about don't her share. choil and don't see what share. she thinks. <laughs> she probably be like, you hadn't found it in years. Oh um, I like the design of the knife. Now, I, I haven't seen the, what was the other colors? I forgot. It's, um, there's a blackout where it has like a black wash blade, and then there's just a stone washed handle. I haven't the seen bronze. the black wa blackout one yet, okay. so I don't see anything about it. This one, I, I really like, like them. Like better not bump you while you're holding a knife. Mm -hmm. Compliment each other, that's the word. Had to think of the color wheel. Oh, okay. Think of the color wheel. <laughs> Rainbow wheel stop. I think it looks awesome. It is one of the more manly looking knives I've encountered that I would actually use. I like the design of the handle and the bronze highlight around it. I like the shape of the blade. I like the jimping. I mean, I like it all. It's a really? rare find that I actually like like everything about it, and there's nothing to complain about. I mean, it's a truly like menacing but nice carry. I mean, A, plus, 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 all the way down the wall. Wow. And yep. for only... You quoted O Fudge last week, so... two sixty three fifty. On landknife.com. What did we pay you? I'm just kidding. We? Yeah. We, oh, know. not enough. <laughs> Don't ever. <laughs> they didn't pay me. Two sixty-three fifty. They paid me at be working here. Okay. Hmm. So get your own. All right. You can have a menacing. I won't be. I'll be nice. Oh, will you? Minax. Is that how it's mm -hmm. pronounced? Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm sure somebody will correct us. Of your very own. That means. We're on to our last knife yep. of the episode. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The new redesigned QSP 
parrot. Or the new penguin, as I like to call it, because it's only 2540 at AtlanticKnife.com. Thank you. For this QSP knife with a D2 steel blade. That is correct. We've got parents coming out of our yin yang and they're just 2540. At AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. We're kicking off your fall season what? with this knife and wait, Mike, it Ignored. gets better. I am so going to sound like a used cars man on an infomercial, but how does the deal get better, see? <laughs> because for a limited time, act now, AtlanticKnife.com will be giving not one, not two, but five percent weight cross that double it 10 percent off oh, sorry you put up every parrot so knife when customers use the promo code parrot 10 and that's lower case lower case parrot 10 yep another inventive code brought to you by c <laughs> I am, uh, <laughs> yeah. because of a, for a limited so time, it. limited time now, go ahead. Limited. You want me to, uh, do the With specs? With free shipping. Oh yeah. We forgot to mention that. Somebody can drive a little truck And guess what? So, if you buy more than two, you get free shipping on those plus. 10% off each. <laughs> exactly. Parrot 10. Okay. This liner lock comes in three different styles. The blue, the green, and the black. Each is 7.25 inch overall with a three inch D2. You heard me there, D2 steel blade. Or a three balls D2 blade. Really? Construction lingo, <laughs> good Lord. Anything with a measurement of double zeros is called that. It's dead on balls accurate. It's an industry term. That's two of my cousin's <laughs> references. One more that's, and I get a set of steak surveying knives. lingo, but go ahead. Uh, the blade. Surveying lingo? It is, yeah. You know what? I am not a Ginny <laughs> Hopper, okay? <laughs> that's a good one. Uh -huh. Oh, on. wow. Yeah. Which comes in at about 58, 59, as Nicolas Cage would say, call it 60, on the HRC scale. It is deployed through the dual thumb stud and features a spine jimping. Mm -hmm. Or spine jimping, we don't want to say a spine jimping, there while operating on a copper washer. This is quality. Mm -hmm. Finally, this steel For of a deal has a reversible tip up carry pocket clip, G10 handle, and a lanyard. If you hole. say it has barrel spacers, I'm going to plot. <laughs> Amana. <laughs> May tag. We always come back to a wacky new new guy. That is it, yeah. And you get all of this. All of it. All of it for twenty five forty at AtlanticKnife.com. I am definitely getting a raise for this episode, buddy. Sure, maybe some make mistakes were made for last episode, but I have more than made up for it, okay? I have set up at least three plugs. One more, and guess what? You know what? You get a set of steak knives. No, I win Wendy's Colt Fruit. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. think hold on a second. You're right. I think three is the is the minimum flare around here. What? We actually want you to express yourself and do maximum flare. So what are you saying? You want the minimum to be four? No. The minimum is three. Okay. We want you to express yourself. See, Wendy, she has lots of flare. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. She has a lot of flare, but it's not enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what's wow. funny? She'll probably be buried with that cult brood. I'll have to pry it from her cold, dead hands. That's why she likes it. Get... Speaking of cold, dead hands. Maybe someone is like, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I know. I get what you mean now. Don't you dare. Cut, cut to commercial. Cut. Go on. Oh, wow. Don't, don't do it. She's been pretty decent oh, this week. Oh, Lord. We're down to, uh... About two weeks, a little know. under two weeks. Yep, I think she's still going. She just she's gonna stay afterwards while she does some remodeling. Uh, but that's all right. But she did find a way to screw up a nice meal the other day. I happened to be at home at lunchtime, stopped by, I saw it on the counter, I'm like, oh, we're having steak. 
get home and I'm like, wow, this is not steak. It is about this big by the time she's done with it. There were 19 peas lined up in a little circle ready to run away. When I got there and I'm like, wow, now we're four. Where this the, would be hardy. Where did the steaks go? <laughs> I don't know. Man. There were four. This would be hardy. Yeah, I'd be kind of mad oh about goodness. the peas. I'd roll them around a little bit. But, but there's only 19. When there's 19 pieces of kid, know, you're like thanking God. When, when, crossing. You know, we're not like extravagant people. Right we now. have regular size plates around here. And there was so much plate left. You know what you should have done? Got a smaller plate so it looked like you had more You know food. what? I'll buy smaller plates and she'll shrink up the food. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Are sure not accurate portion sizes? I, I mean, look, I'm not looking like Golden Corral every time. You know? <laughs> you know how you go to Golden Corral and there's somebody, some woman walking back and she got a salad in this hand and her meat over here and she's going back because somebody's <laughs> cooking her a steak. And, and her husband's her carrying the dessert behind and her, her. And her kid's got his finger in the fondue. I mean, it, I not, not talking about Corral that. Fondue. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> the kids have messed it up for It's me. just, a, you know, it's just disappointing. But, I'm sorry to hear that. under two weeks. So, let's cut the C's mother and talk mother-in-law talk there. Uh, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to be entered to win the Best Tech Texel on YouTube. Keeping it straight this week. Mm. Along with answering the AK trivia question on... Nope. Fine. Alandknife.com's blog. Like it matters if you say it or I say it. I get credit regardless, okay? I'll do wrote this. the script. Great. That's what I'm good for anyway. To win the Fox Karambit. I don't want to... F-O-X. There we go. There it is. Yeah. We're also on social media outlets like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube. Sometimes we're mentioned on Reddit. So look us up. I'll let her have it this week, by the oh, way. Oh, thanks. You'll find I a vast sharing it with you, assortment so there's no arguing over of it. reviews, mm -hmm. photos. Are you mansplaining? You're like talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> Give I'm away info. Explaining. Past AK Blade episodes. We're just going to make up for lost time. So much, much more. With that, I, my friends, am C. And this right here this is. right here is, is Jewel. Jade Jewel. Oh, Just wow. Jade Jewel. She wants to, she wants to try wow. to make a fetch, you know. What? <laughs> and we. Thank you, guys. You know what? I'm going to cut you off again. I'm mansplaining. Thank you, guys. You guys have been lovely, lovely witnesses. Oh. And that's three. Wow. Fan it out. I am. We're signing off. <laughs>